how to Yu-Gi-Oh! deck profile, our part two, combo and play guide. So in this section of the video now, I'm going to be to showcasing and doing the combo and play guide. So it's first going to start with the key monsters in the Ice deck, um, the key spells will be mentioned, and the key extra deck monsters. So key monsters, key spells and traps, and key extra deck monsters. Afterwards, I will then have a play guide where I will do three sample hands and showcase how you would play from there and what you are likely going to face. So hopefully you will enjoy this new format and let's get on with the rest of the video. Okay, so let's get this started. Um, we have our three of... Three is just right! Performa Pal, Skullcrab at Joker, right? So, let's just quickly summarize this card's effect. I mean, this card is absolutely bonkers, first of all. You can add, um, if we just go over through it, uh, Performa Pal, which would be a monkey board. I like monkey business. You can add uh, Magician, which would be Harmonizing. Odd Eyes, which would be Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon. Yeah, there are several things you can add. Good girlfriend. This is one of your key cards in the Odd Eyes deck. You're definitely going to want to know more. Summon this to activate its effect 100% of the time. And here we have our two of. Two is the best number for this job. We have Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon. And that card has an effect that is absolutely amazing. So you basically, you can pay 500 life points to add any level 8 or lower dragon pendulum. It's free real estate. So your targets, most likely targets would be Odai's Arc Pendulum Dragon. Another target is this, Odai's Phantom Dragon. Another target would be Odai's Persona Dragon. Another target would be Odai's Pendulum Dragon. And finally, our last targets that we would add for sure would be Odd Eyes Pendulum Graph Dragon. There are no limits to the power of this card. Okay, and that's pretty much it for the targets you're going to be adding with Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon. Okay, and here we have our one of. You're my number one. Performer Pal Monkey Board. I like monkey business. Um, this card is absolutely stacked. So essentially, while it's in the scale, you can just add any level 4 or lower Performa Pal a monster from your deck to your hand. Do you want me to screen her uh, later? So you can add that Performa Pal Skullcrab by Joker from earlier to add you whenever you want. That's really convenient. In terms of the consistency that it adds to the Odd Eyes deck. Okay, so let's start with our first key spell, the field spell, Sky Iris. Sky Iris is going to be your key card, especially in the Odd Eyes deck, as this is the card that's going to allow you to search and add anything Odd Eyes related. I find this rather odd. The search targets include Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon, which would allow you to add any level 8 or lower Dragon Pendulum, Performer Pal Odd Eyes Synchro, Odd Eyes Gravity Dragon, Odd Eyes Advent, Odd Eyes Fusion. Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, Odd Eyes Persona Dragon, Odd Eyes Mirage Dragon, Odd Eyes Pendulum Graph Dragon, Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon, and finally, you can also add Performer Pal Odd Eyes Dissolver. And I think that's about it for all the targets that you can be adding with Sky Iris, a key card that can facilitate the consistency and all the things you need in the Odd deck. And here we have our other key spell, Duelist Alliance. So let's just uh, process what this does. If there's a card in the Pendulum Zone, add one Pendulum Monster or one Pendulum Spell or Trap card from your deck to your hand. You can only activate one Duelist Alliance per turn. One moment. I need to look up this nonsense. Okay, I'm speechless. So essentially this allows you to search Pendulum Call. Soul Pendulum, Extra Pendulum, Odd Eyes, Odd Eyes, Pendulum Dragon. Your entire deck, essentially. It's always my turn. Can't state enough just how busted this card is in a Pendulum deck. You play it at three, no debate. Please, that's right. 
Okay, and here we have the key extra deck monsters. We have Enlightenment Paladin. Now, Enlightenment Paladin is really quite interesting. If Magician Pendulums are used for its Synchro Materials, you can add any, on Summon, you can add any spell from your graveyard to your hand. Why not save in the game? Then we have Odai's Vortex Dragon. One of your only Omni Negates in this deck, you're gonna be making it 90% of the time. When nothing ruins the game plan. Will obviously be set in the scale or dies like pendulum dragon. You're gonna be able to to summon it from you know your graveyard. That's all I've really gotta say. And now the card in question, um, Nirvana High Paladin. So this is a card that m no, most, not most people play, but let's look at it and read uh, its effect so you're familiar with it. So for this uh, card synchro summon, you can treat one pendulum summon monster, one pendulum summoned. Pendulum monster you control as a tuner. Did you just break the rules? If this card is synchro summoned using a pendulum summoned pendulum monster tuner. What the hell does that even mean? You can't just make up your uh, rules. You can target one card in your graveyard, add it to your hand. So that is what you say. My mistake. Carry on. When this card is destroyed on a point monster by battle, you can halve your opponent's life points. One moment, I need to look up this nonsense. In the monster zone is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can place it in your pendulum zone. What a mouthful, what a card. It reads like a custom card. Um, it, you know, when it was released, it was the first synchro monster in the game that could be synchro summoned without the need of a tuner. Simply, at the time of its release, it was simply game breaking. It never, obviously, was featured in any meta decks at the time because no one could really understand how to play this deck. We have had another card that has uh, premiered, obviously then, that you can synchro summon without a tuner, that's Ib, the Justiciar. Um, but leaving Ib aside, that's pretty much it. And this will be the only key extra deck monsters that I think you'll be playing in the Odd Eyes deck. Okay, so let's have our playtest hand. Let's go. Draw. Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon. Draw. Performer Pal Monkey Board. Draw. Odd Eyes Fusion. Draw. Performer Pal Gentrude. Draw. Our final card. Odd Eyes Persona Dragon. Alrighty, let's go. We'll first activate our scale. Perform a pal. Monkey board! Monkey board. Right? We'll activate its scale effect in order to add any level 4 or lower pendulum. What will that be? That will be our perform a pal, Skullcrabat Joker. Right? We're gonna add that to hand. Spice. Um. At this point, you could get hit with a draw and lock belt, and then, you know, you're just gonna cry yourself to sleep. Um, if you haven't, then you're pretty much okay, and you'll just normal summon harmonizing. Um, harm uh, not harmonizing, sorry. Perform Pals Skull Crab Joker. I got ahead of myself there. I got ahead of myself. Forgive me. I'm too excited. Um, its effect is gonna allow you to add... Um... You're going to add what you need, which is going to be the harmonizing, right? Right. So you add the harmonizing, as you see there at the bottom, we put it to our hand. We'll activate the effect of Odai's Revolution, pay 500, okay? In order to add ourselves any Odai, any dragon, level 8 dragon, pendulum monster or lower. We will add Odai's Arc Pendulum Dragon, okay? Okay. Uh, we will then set that in the scales there. So I will just move the camera to the scale. So you see there, so there's our scale 8 right there. Okay, moving on. Um, so as you see there, so obviously, so if we look at the monkey board scale, it says unless you have a perform power card in your other pendulum zone, this card scale becomes 4. So um, what we can do is not put the odd eyes arc pendulum but we can put the gentrude instead so we have a scale one and a scale eight we will then pendulum summon into harmonizing magician persona dragon and odai's arc 
pendulum dragon yeah if we just uh move the camera there so you see everything harmonizing magician perform a pal skulker by joker and we have the odd eyes arc pendulum dragon and there we have our graveyard as you can see there let's uh go back to how we were before there we are happy days okay so there are several things that we can do here obviously the effect of harmonizing we can get a magician on the board which is going to be uh going to be the that and let's just skip ahead and go to our end board so here is our end board after much fixing so we used odd eyes fusion right to fuse the odd eyes persona dragon that you saw there and the performer pal skulker by joker to make ourselves odd eyes vortex dragon as you can see here um we used um again from our um on the field we used harmonizing magician and we used performer pal celestial magician in order to make the enlightenment paladin as you can see here obviously with the effect on summon we were able to add the odd eyes fusion that we had used uh previously to make odd eyes vortex dragon and then we have the odd eyes arc pendulum dragon which is there on the off off screen there as a level seven as we will move to it there as you can see it there okay and then we will uh just stick here with our two and so that's pretty much it so here's your sample hand that sample board that you can have if you play it right and remember we have less than uh we are on 7500 because of the effect of Odd evolution as we paid 500 to add any odd eyes level eight or lower dragon pendulum okay that's it play test hand two let's go draw duelist alliance draw Performer Pals, Skullcrabat, Joker. Draw. Performer Pals, Skullcrabat, Joker. Draw. Odd Eyes, Pendulum Dragon. And our final card, draw. Lady Ange. Oh my goodness, this is a nutty hand. So let's see where this goes. Let's go. First, we will set the scale. Performer Pal, Lady Ange. As we can see there. Alrighty. Moving on, we will then normal summon, as you can see there, perform a pal skull crab at Joker. Um, when it is normal summon, we are going to add our old reliable perform a pal Gentrude. We will add that to the scale. We'll add that there. We will set the scale of Gentrude. Just put that there. Setting the scale of Gentrude. Perform a pal Gentrude. Okay. Going back next. We will then activate Duelist Alliance. Duelist Alliance, as we can see there, will allow us to add any Pendulum card. We're going to add a uh, Pendulum Core. Now, I'm going to go to the um, future and just fast forward and showcase to you the final board that you will make. Obviously, given the fact if we're not hit with any hand traps like a draw and lock, but if you're hit with a draw and lock, but well, yep, you're shit out of luck and you're not doing anything. So let's go to the future. Okay, here is the final board, but how did we get there? So obviously, we had several things happen. Um, these, this, and this was used to make this. Okay, Grand Sulfur Court. Then we had two level sevens, which were made to make um, Odd Eyes. Yeah? We Synchro Summoned with Harmonizing and Celestial, which we special summoned off of its effect, to make Enlightenment Paladin, which you can see there. Um, that added our Dualist Alliance back to hand. We then Linked Summoned with Grand Sulfur Court and odd eyes right to get zephra metal drum um the effect of odd eyes absolute when it's used when it leaves the field via and it's xyz summon you can special summon any odd eyes uh monster from extra deck which is how we special summon odd eyes vortex from our extra deck and that's about it okay play test three let's go to our starting hand draw pendulum call 
Draw for my pal Skullcrabat Joker. Draw for my pal Monkey Bowl. Draw Odd-Eyes Advent. Draw Celestial Magician. Okay, this is our hand. Hmm, so let's see. Is this hand the best? Maybe, possibly. But let's see what we will do. We will first begin by activating Puffuma Pal Monkey Board. If we can just go to Monkey Board there, Monkey Board. Um, we will activate Monkey Board's effect in the scale. Um, during the main phase, you can add any level four or lower Puffuma Pal monster from your deck to your hand. Since we already have Skull Crabat Joker in our hand, we're going to add ourselves Puffuma Pal Gentrude to our hand. Okay. Yeah. Indeed. Okay, we will set it in the scale, and we will set that right there, as you can see in the scale. Um, we will then zoom out a bit. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Zoom out quite nicely there. Then, pendulums. Uh, before we do that, we would activate. Uh, Pendulum Co. Discarding Performer Pal Skull Crab Joker to add, you know and love it, Harmonizing and Noble Dragon. Okay, let's go to the future. I'll fast forward now. Summoned and Celestial, right? That special summon Zhang Sheng Magician from the deck. Okay, we then overlaid these two level fours for Dark Rebellion XYZ. Um, the effect of Oda's Rebellion. Overlord, we put that on top. And in our hand, we have Noble Dragon Magician and Odai's Advent. And that's pretty much it. So there is where we will end our turn. Not the best board, but you know, a board that will get there. And that's pretty much it. Remember that you are weak to hand traps, especially drawing Lockbird. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands.